Hi YouTube, Edward Dendle here by myself I'm trying to attempt to feed and rehabilitate this animal that I found in the woods in a hole that I could not get out of. This is a venomous cotton mouth. It is a very yellow very yellow snake. I'm going to attempt to feed it. We have a bunch of uh, different fish they got here. It has not eaten in quite some time. Like, really, it hasn't eaten in quite some time. I'm going to try to capture some of these fish. They're proving very difficult in this bucket. But Try to hand it to him with tweezers. Now, oh, well, I got a big broom in here I didn't need. Well, I can't grab the fish with a tong for some reason. There it is. Well, if he's hungry, uh oh. Maybe hungry. Oh yes, oh yes people, look at this. This snake is so malnutritious. And so malnutritious and hungry. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. We're gonna feed him all of these fish. They're in here. Another perch. There's a minnow here. You might take it out of my tongue. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's got my tongue. Look at my tongue, baby. That's not what I planned. Just gotta get that tongue off of there. Fish is there. You see the fish. And to just eat the fish. If the tongue hadn't got stuck in his mouth, things would have went a lot better. But as y'all can see, he's capable of still eating. He's really hungry. I'm gonna feed him as many fish a day that he'll eat. Just get the fish. I'll give him as many fish as he'll eat a day. I'll get him back on track. Bad things happen to good souls sometimes. This truly is a good soul. I hated that that had to happen. I really hated that it had to happen. And grab that tongue like that. I'm gonna try to uh, tongue feed him another. This one's a good one if he can grab a hold of this. It'll be a great meal for him. Big sucker fish. Hey buddy, I know you want that. I know you want that. Yes, there we go. There we go, my friends. This is how Edward Tyndall rehabilitates stuff. The snake is very hungry. I want to show y'all the amount of malnutrition that a snake is by zooming in. Look at how skinny the snake is. This, an animal should never have to suffer like this. This is what happens when um, places are made where animals can get trapped 
it was, a, it was like a concrete pipe and he was stuck down in there I don't know what it was for but he's going to be on his road to recovery now and when y'all see the snake again he's going to be absolutely large and in charge so I'm going to leave y'all here for a minute watching this while I capture more fish this snake was so weak and malnutritious that he has he or she I haven't sexed it but appears to be a male it was so weak that it uh had no intention to even trying to bite. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all this tail right here. Look at how malnutritious that tail is. I want y'all to watch this snake. Now I've got him eating. And out. I want you to see. You see that? That is very. That's on knocking on death's door, friends. It, it literally is knocking on death's door. So I can get y'all some different lighting, different colors of light, so you can see how beautiful this animal is. Here's the whitest, whitest, brightest light. It's holding that in its mouth, so I'm not going to disturb it. Some fish in there are just too big to give him or her. Put these little ones in there. Let him, uh, him or her hunt for them. That's what they do in the wild. Those of you keeping cotton mouths and stuff should, um, if you keep cotton mouths. Y'all should give them what they like to eat. They like to eat brim. They're an appropriate size. That's what they do in the water. In the wild, I watch them sit there underneath the water. And they'll wait. And, uh, people also say that snakes won't bite you underwater. But, that may be true, but they damn sure can. It dropped that fish. dropped the fish. Maybe to go back to eat it now that it's killed it. Or maybe I don't like that kind of fish. As y'all can see, we have a lot of them in there for him. I say we, I'm so used to Sarah being with me. Speaking of Sarah, y'all, keep her in your prayers. It means a lot to us. This is an inter interesting group of uh, fish right here. Let me show these fish for a moment. You see that one in the center screen with the bands on it? That is a copper nose. And then some of them other ones are bluegills. And some, yeah, there's a bluegill right there. Some of them are hybrid of copper nose and bluegill, and some of them are pumpkin patch or pumpkin seed perch. The cold. Look at the yellows on this. I showed this to a cottonmouth expert, and they said that it looks to be a hypo pastel cottonmouth, which is really cool. Tongue's flicking, so it's still in pretty good shape. And the blue thing you see in here is a hide in case it wanted to hide, but it does not want to hide. This is only a temporary housing I got for him. He's in quarantine from everything else. Um, and all that stuff. I got Wormer to give to him. I have not yet. I'm trying to get a couple mills in him. And then I'll inject one of the fish with the uh, wormer when I find the, I have to weigh him and weigh the, figure out the right mix so I don't kill him. It's very dangerous. I got the smallest dog wormer that I could possibly get my hands on to uh, give to him for extremely small dogs. But 
when you're weak like this, he may he may carry a parasite load or a worm load. There's no telling. Just I hate that this animal had to be in the shape that it's in from being uh, being in an area it can't get out of. I have a lot in common with this snake right here. I too was in an area where I couldn't get to food one time and I got down to I'm filming I got down to uh, 100 and uh, 119 pounds when I, my proper body weight is 210 I almost died and I've had x-rays since then and the doctor told me that I went through a period in my life where I was starving and it showed up in my bones and uh, that's for pretty uh, pretty crazy but I made it and I want to make sure this guy can make it as well y'all leave in the comments what you think Bray Wyatt if you're watching this I know you're loving it my friend I was hoping that I could actually capture this uh, he's got a lot of venom I was hoping I could capture the actual eating of it but maybe he's uh, not when he needed because I'm standing right here or something. I don't know. But I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on this. Um, we want to get him back up to speed, happy and healthy again, and uh, then I will, uh, after he's completely alive and well, I will breed him and prove it out and see what uh, what is going on here. And the camera's not giving it just my eyes are seeing him as an extremely yellow extremely yellow snake when you just really you can't see it on film so I tried to change the lighting and everything yeah. anyway my friends I will uh, I'll catch y'all later thanks for watching peace love and happiness and all that good shit tell your friends and pray for Sarah so she can get a speedy recovery and get back here making making more videos for you guys with us. And I speak for me and her. We love all you guys. Thanks for watching. Tendo out.